Well, looks like I won't be filming outside today. All right, let's do this. Hi, so today I wanted to review a certain product one year later because I always find that those types of review videos, the ones where you've had a product for three months, six months, a year, and after spending that much time with that product, I feel like you have a better idea of what the product can do and can't do. So today we're going to review uh, the Nomadic Peter McKinnon backpack and spoiler, it's a great backpack except for one thing. And I will share that one thing in just a sec. But first I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Storyblocks. If you don't already know, Storyblocks is a great site to easily search and download high quality 4K and HD videos. They've got pretty much every type of stock footage you can find from the one plus million stock footage library. That's great for us creators because we have access to a whole bunch of stock footage to help us tell our stories. And it's not just stock footage too. They have a massive library of royalty free images, animated backgrounds, and even After Effects templates. Recently, Storyblocks started Restock, which is an initiative to add more inclusive and diverse stock footage filmed by amazing creators in the LGBTQIA plus community and the black, brown, and people of color communities. So if you are looking for more diverse and inclusive stock footage, then definitely check out Storyblocks and you can do so by clicking on my link in the description below. Thanks Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. All right, here we go. The Nomadic Peter McKinnon Travel Backpack. Ooh, it's a little dirty. Although I feel like that's a good sign of a backpack well used. Uh, all right, I guess we can go from the outside in. So let's just talk about the exterior of the backpack. The overall design and build of the backpack is great. I really like it. I mean, you see some scuffs here in the front and that's because I'm really tough on backpacks. Like I've literally tossed this backpack around, but in my violent ways, I have not seen a single tear on this backpack. Just a few scuffs. No big deal, just a flesh wound, but no holes or tears at all. It feels kind of heavy duty too. I mean, the backpack alone is quite a heavy backpack and that might actually be a turnoff for some people, but I don't really mind too much about the weight of this backpack, especially if I'm just going to a location just to transport my gear. Like I'd much rather have my gear safe and protected with a backpack like this. But as for extended travels, like if I have to hop on a plane and go somewhere, I actually use a different backpack. I use the Shimoda Explorer 60, a really good travel bag, and I should probably make a video reviewing that backpack. But for the most part, I do use this backpack and it's where I store all my essential gear. The design of the backpack I think looks pretty cool, has this matte black finish which is nice, but it's the practical things of this backpack that I appreciate the most. First of all, you have YKK zippers all around the backpack and if you don't know what YKK zippers are, they're the best type of zippers that you can find in any bag. For one, they're self-healing, in other words they don't catch on to themselves, and two, there's a level... Whoa! That's Texas right there. Oh man, I lost my train of thought. Uh, something about zippers. Ah, yes, YKK zippers. And two, there's a level of weather sealing using YKK zippers. I mean, it's not absolute waterproof. Like if you submerge this backpack underwater, then chances are you're gonna get your gear soaked. But if you're walking out in the rain, then you don't have to worry about your gear getting drenched. You know what's crazy is that thunders in Texas can get real loud. Like that wasn't even the loudest. Let's just hope it's not a tornado. That would suck. Other than the zippers, what I love about this backpack is that there's so many handles all around the bag. I mean, you've got a top handle over here. You have a second top handle for whatever reason. You got two side handles, which just makes it super easy to carry, especially if the backpack is heavy. You got another handle at the bottom, so it makes it easy to stow this bag into the overhead bin on a plane. It's practical things like that that I really appreciate in a camera bag. And what's really cool is that you don't even notice that the handles are there. Like it actually took me a while to discover the side handles, but I didn't know they were there because it looked like it just blended with the backpack. So shout out to the people who designed that. But yeah, I love practical things like that in a backpack. Going to in the back you have two very comfy shoulder straps and these straps are actually pretty comfortable. I mean this bag can get heavy, like it can get heavy especially if you pack a ton of gear and a few days worth of clothes, but having comfortable backpack straps really helps, having an adjustable chest straps really helps, and this bag actually came with some hip straps. You don't see it right now because uh, I'm actually not a big fan of that particular hip strap even though I like having hip straps on a backpack. I took off the hip straps from this backpack because uh, like I said before, I don't really use this bag for extended travel, but I love that it's optional and if you do want to use the hip Hip straps. You can just slide those hip straps right here at the bottom of the bag, but basically they just slide right under here. You also have D-clips on the backpack straps, so if you want to attach a carabiner, you can if you want to, or if you want, you can attach a GoPro, a knife, a flashlight, whatever you want. And the last thing that I love about the exterior of the backpack is right over here. It's a little slot where you can slide this back 
on the handle of a luggage. So yeah, it just makes it a lot easier if you do have to walk through a big airport and you don't want to carry this backpack with you. You can just slide this backpack on top of your luggage and you're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and open up the backpack. Hmm, I feel, I feel like I should have a top-down shot. Yeah, I should do a top-down shot. Be right back. All right, I think I got my top-down shot. Okay. Now, before we get to the inside of the backpack, I, I kind of forgot to mention the laptop compartment. Where is it? Ah, it's over here. So on the side of the bag is a compartment to store a laptop. I personally use a 13 inch MacBook Pro, but I've actually stored a bigger laptop like the Dell 5750 easily in this bag. And I really like that the laptop compartment is on the back and not in the front of the bag because there are some camera bags out there where you have to store your laptop on the front of the bag. And that's not a good thing because if you're rough on your backpack like me, chances are when you flip this backpack around like this, there's a good chance that you might damage your laptop. And I have damaged a laptop before because I feel like the storm is like right over the house now. Lost my train of thought again. Where was I? Ah, yes, laptops. But if you have a laptop that's on the front of the bag and you flip the bag down like this to open up your gear, there's a good chance that you might damage your laptop. And so, yeah, smart move on Nomadic for having the laptop compartment on the back. All right, take a look on the inside of the bag. Here we go. Okay, so this is what the inside of the backpack looks like if you don't know already. Obviously a big space to store a ton of gear. You've got dividers that you can customize and organize in whatever fashion you want. So all that's great, no complaints from me there. You even have mesh pockets, large mesh pockets where you can store smaller items like camera batteries, SD cards, a notebook. There's even a pocket up over here if you wanna store your iPad or a tablet. So all that's great. And on the other side of the backpack is a compartment where you can actually store your clothes. Put over. There we go. So here is where you usually store clothes. You even have small pockets here to store smaller accessories, but you don't have to store clothes here if you don't want to. Like I actually stored a gimbal on this compartment of the backpack, which is pretty awesome. And then on the other side, you have really large mesh pockets to hold whatever items you want. So yeah, so in terms of organization options in this backpack, like there's so many and makes this backpack really versatile. Now, the one complaint I have about this backpack is right here. Now, right over here is the front pocket to store small accessories like keys, your wallet, or a passport. In fact, if you do store a passport in this compartment, it actually has RFID protection, which is great. I don't have a problem having a front pouch at all, but if you are gonna store sensitive items like a passport, a driver's license, or keys, it shouldn't be in the front where it's susceptible for people to steal those things. Rather, there should be an additional compartment to store those sensitive items in the back of the bag. Here, let's flip this around. I really think it was a missed opportunity to include a hidden compartment on the back of the bag, either on the top bag or on the bottom bag. Other backpacks do this, especially travel backpacks, because they know that a lot of theft can happen during travel. So if this backpack had a hidden compartment to store those sensitive items in the top bag or on the bottom bag, it would make this bag the perfect camera backpack. So Nomadic, Peter, if you're listening, if you're gonna make version 2.0 of this bag, then uh, you might wanna add a hidden compartment in the back. Did I miss anything else? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I guess I did. Uh, on the other side of the backpack is a water bottle holder, or if you have a small travel tripod, you can slip that tripod right here on the side of the bag. But yeah, I think uh, I think that's it. <laughs> Hopefully I covered everything. All right, well, that's it for this video, my little one year review of the Nomadic Peter McKinnon backpack. And if you wanna check it out, maybe grab one for yourself, then uh, you can click on the link down in the description below. Whoa. Just rolling thunder here. All right guys, well that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. If you have any questions about this backpack, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, take care of yourselves. Much love to you all, and I'll see you in the next one. You have been so good, and you stayed so quiet for me as I filmed. Oh, mwah. I think you deserve some ice cream. Well, you can't have ice cream yet, but I can. Can I have ice cream? Thanks.